Yes, indeed we are. And what else I did this morning was I updated my website so you guys can actually see where I'm going. Yes, indeed. Definitely did. I mean, by the time you watch this, that will have already been changed. That'll be somewhere else, right? But there'll be more of an up-to-date on where exactly we'll be going to and stuff like that. So, yeah. I like it. Yes, indeed. But, for those of you that didn't watch my website, I am going to Kentwood, Michigan. Yes, indeed. Yeah, that's where we will be going to. But we had a bit of a storm here last night here in Steinbach. Yes, we did. It woke me up. Power was out. Just lightning, lightning like crazy and thundering and real heavy wind and all that stuff. So, yeah. But that's all right, we made it through the night, no damage to any of our property, so... Although I uh, heard from the wife saying that there was a few places that had gotten some damage, but... We were lucky we didn't get any. So yeah. So anyways, we'll continue on. Uh, we will be crossing our, uh, at Roseau again. So we'll see if the DOT will sit over there. That'd be kind of funny, having them sit there and wanting to do an inspection on us. But hey, if he wants to do it, go for it. I should be legal, as far as I know. But yeah, appreciate you guys tuning in today. So let's get our day started. Let's have us a fantastic day together. Appreciate you joining me today. Welcome to Minnesota, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. We have now officially crossed the border. Yeah. They said that uh, apparently the broker entered uh, the information twice into the system. So it was showing that I had two stops. But she uh, realized that it was all both going to the same place. So uh, I guess uh, sometimes they make mistakes as well. But uh, hey, we still managed to cross the border. They didn't kick us back. Sometimes they would do that, especially at some other borders than Rosa. They would uh, they would probably do that. They would say, "Oh, something wrong with your paperwork. You gotta go in and get it fixed and all that. And waste a couple of hours time to uh, get that straightened out." But these people up here at Rosa are very nice people here. You know, never have a problem with them. They're always easy going. You know, they see a mistake by the broker, you know, and they said, all right, well, you know, we all make mistakes and have a nice day, you know. They don't hold me up, you know, I guess they fix it from their end. And uh, that's what I like, you know. You don't get a whole bunch of hassles just because uh, brokers somehow made a mistake, you know. But anyways, we are in the United States of America. That's for sure. And it's starting to get cloudy again. We had nice sunshine when we left Steinbach, but oh well. That's the way it goes. Sometimes you get nice sunshine and next day you get uh, next minute you might get the rain. But that's what my wife was telling me yesterday. They uh, were calling for rain all day long or all weekend long or something like that. So that's to be expected, I guess, then we will see some rain, but whatever, we're going to continue on cruising along and we just get a free truck wash down, right? <laughs> I really need a truck wash too, I can't really afford it now with my uh, big bill of uh, repairing my truck, maybe I'll put it on the screen right about now. Hopefully I remember that by the end of the day and I'll put that on the on the video. Hold on to your or maybe sit down when you look at it. Because it's a big bill. Yeah. Big numbers anyways. I don't know how we're gonna
want to pay for it, but I guess paycheck by paycheck, pay a little here, pay a little there, I guess. That's all I can do. Especially with last week not getting the big miles. I don't know. I'm gonna have to get bigger miles than that in order to pay that. That's for sure. Well, what can I say? It is what it is. Alrighty guys, it appears that there's all kinds of construction going on up here. Yeah, I saw that already on Google Map there. Uh, before I got into this town, I already had to take a little bit of a detour. And it says here again, <clears throat> the road closed up ahead. It's that little bridge that goes over that uh, river up there that's closed. That's what it looks like. Yeah, so we're going to have to take some back roads up here for a little bit. In 200 feet, Hope they have right some on. signage First up here and then turn right in 300 to tell us feet. where we got to go. Well, what I meant to say is I looked it up on Google. I parked there just down the road here. There's a little truck stop there. Went inside and me my half an hour break. Me a bite to eat. And I looked on Google and it even showed that it's red over here. And I thought, oh, well. I guess when we get here, we'll find out where we gotta go, and so here we are. Now they are detouring us somewhere. <clears throat> so hopefully, uh, hopefully you can go on here with the truck. I know the other uh, detour that we had there earlier was kind of a little iffy there with the weights. They had some weight restrictions on there, and well road is closed where are you gonna go you know so uh, here we are oh look at that this guy is uh, dealing some Polaris units right here from home In look at that. that's line. awesome turn left on 7th Street CR 35 I used to deliver to places like that you know I mean the odd time I do that over here too but it's very few in between but yeah it looks like they do have some signage up here so that is awesome. Let's see what kind of gravel road we're gonna have to take us down here. It actually does look like a gravel road. No, it actually ain't a gravel road. But let's go find out and see what this road is gonna feel like. But that's what it is or means to be a truck driver. You always have to take detours in summer especially find your way to your customer that's always a challenge not always but a lot of times you know thank God for the GPS these days you know I couldn't imagine how the uh, old folks had to do it back in the day well old folks but the folks back in the day had to do it you know with maps and all that well I guess you could do it but uh, and then you didn't even have cell phones at the time yet you know so you had to stop somewhere at a truck stop use the payphone to call the customer and hope they would answer you half mile. turn left on hope they would Avenue. give you uh, some good directions right but uh, yeah I think this must be that same river that we cross over there but I guess that bridge is under construction I think over there it's a bigger river though. In a quarter mile, turn left on. Yeah. Let's see. GPS wants me to turn back over here, but sign doesn't say to turn over here, so it says their bridge closed ahead, closed ahead, so don't go there. So yeah, so we're not gonna go down there, that's for sure. So we'll make our way down to the 72 and we'll continue on south from there. So, Alright guys, it appears that we are going to be running into another storm. I went through a bit of a storm here earlier already. Where it got real windy and rained pretty heavily and I was checking out the weather radar and it's not looking so good. Not at all. Looks like right over there by Duluth area, 
That's where the big storm is coming over right now as we speak. So hopefully the winds won't be too bad. So we can ride right through it. That would be kind of nice. Because I really hate to run into a storm. That I would not like one little bit. Yeah, you see some flashing up there already. Some thundering and lightning. And... Yeah, it's not looking good ahead of me. That's for sure. But We got to continue on. We got to do at least another 100 miles today yet. In order for us to do it uh, tomorrow, make our delivery. Well, we don't have to deliver tomorrow, but we have to deliver Monday early in the morning. So uh, in order to do that, I have to at least do another 100 miles today, or at least 80. I have to do at least 80 more miles today. Yeah. Well, hopefully that won't be too much of a hassle to do, but We'll see how this weather is going to perform, right? If this weather is going to allow us to, then we'll be able to do it. But if not, then I guess we'll be stuck somewhere. At least we're not on a narrow road like I was earlier. And that's why I ran into a storm a couple of years ago. And trees were falling left and right. And they were falling right onto the road. So I was pretty much stranded right there on the road. But then after a little bit, somebody came down with a chainsaw and cut up some tree and I was able to uh, back about two miles back and I was able to pull into a gas station up there and just spend the night over there. And, and I continued on the next morning, but uh, yeah, that was a scary situation. But that happens. What can you do, eh? We are done for today. Yes, indeed we are. We have had us a good day so far. We didn't get us into any trouble so far. But let's take a look. It is raining up here. Yes, indeed it is. Actually, normally this time of the day, the sun should be still way up there and should be nice and sunny, but uh, that's not the case today. Not at all. Yeah, pretty cloudy and pretty dark clouds too and starting to rain more heavier again and this place don't even have any uh, power up here all the power is out the only thing that is keeping this uh, system running is that in the, uh, generator over there I don't know if you can see it or you should be able to hear it yeah that's the only way uh, this place has lights on their building but everything out uh, is pretty much shut down. Yeah, I see everything everywhere else. Everything is quiet, dead. Yeah, that's been like that all day long. Even uh, up there in Duluth, I noticed a few places up there. The uh, power was out too, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I think I'm going to go get this video edited for you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And if you did please rate this video up and if you didn't give it a thumbs down if you liked it give it a thumbs down and do me a favor share this video if you wouldn't mind that way people can find my channel so thank you for watching and we'll catch you right here tomorrow morning on trucker rudy signing out <laughs>